Tonight, Western New York is coming together to remember the one and only Rick Jenneret. And right now, thousands of fans are packed inside KeyBank Center reflecting on his life and legacy. Good evening, I'm Claudine Ewing. Two on your side has team coverage tonight. We're going to hear from Lindsay Moffert about today's roundtable discussions with broadcasters and alumni in just about 15 minutes. But first, we start with our Andy Payton, who is talking to fans showing love for RJ tonight. Andy. Claudine, that's right. The event started about an hour ago and is currently taking place behind us here as we've watched thousands of fans flood in through those doors to hear words shared by some Sabres greats about a man whose words once so iconically echoed through that arena. And as many walk through here, they stop by this memorial that we want to show you here and take a few moments and honor RJ and remember all that he stood for. A figure who many tell us will always be considered among the Sabres greats. His name hangs next to in the rafters despite never touching the ice below. One of a kind, he broke the mold. He's the voice of my childhood. One of the kindest people that you could not meet because... Yeah, he was just genuine. He was just down to earth. A legend. A legend whose historic calls like Top Shelf where Mama hides the cookies, so many say brings nostalgia and made many tonight want to bring their kids, many of which were too young to hear their calls because they say it's important that this generation still knows the history of Rick Jenneret and the legacy that he leaves behind. Now we're going to have much more on the fans and the event inside tonight at 11, but for now I want to send it inside to Paul and Adam who have more on RJ's career. All right, Paul, so much to describe when it comes to Rick Jenneret, his legacy, who he was as a broadcaster. The, the word, and I go back to something I said the day after he had passed, authentic comes to mind. It's hard to find a member of the media or a play-by-play -play announcer through the years, whatever sport, truly as authentic as Rick Jenneret was, the expressions, his personality, the way it translated, and the way viewers and listeners, whether they had met him or not, connected with him. There was nothing fake about him, nothing rehearsed about him. It was all real. It was all right there. Here's the game. And he exemplified Western New York and Buffalo. He was Western New York, still is, and always will be. I mean, when you think of Rick Jenneret, you're thinking of a real Western New Yorker. And I think that's why people connected with him. Yeah, he was from Southern Ontario, but I consider Southern Ontario part of Western mm -hmm. New York, part of our fiber. And he was just part of the fiber of the Buffalo Sabres, the city of Buffalo, Southern Ontario, and Western New York. And when you think the Buffalo Sabres, you think of Rick Jenneret. That should be one of the first names that comes to mind. Right, spanning all through the era's 51 years behind the mic, the voice. Uh, really the essence and the the connection that so many have to Sabres hockey, whatever the decade they were watching or listening. And really, when you talk about the fabric, it's such a great sports culture in Buffalo and Western New York and Southern Ontario. Rick Jenneret, so much of his legacy will be connected to the fact that he is as significant a part of the fabric of that culture and of this community from a sports perspective and a personal one for the for the type of person he was and what he did off the air as anyone as any name you would mention so very fitting tributes and memories of Rick Jenner. Thank you Adam and Paul once again this special tribute to RJ is happening right now at KeyBank Center. We will continue to follow this for you throughout the next half hour.